people are part of the WTA. Like, raise your hands. Okay. Yay, two! Woohoo! And me, that makes three! Okay. I'm honorary. Okay. So. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so how many people are, say, you know, reasonable rangers? Right here. Wow, this is cool. Okay. There's only that many. I'm, uh -huh. That's really exciting. How many people are of, of the uh, armor army? No one. Okay. That's fine. We'll, we'll sort of, that's a long story. We'll explain later. Uh, how many people here are of the... Um, uh, the mini skirt, skirt persuasion? No. no. <laughs> Anyone? Anyone? Good. I, I, I expect Anyone? that there to be at least a couple. But that's All fine. Right. fine. Okay. How many people here just like to raise their hands for no apparent reason? <laughs> okay, you can put your hands down. I was just kidding. <laughs> anyway, so this is the uh, Ren Stores Anonymous panel for 2008. Yay! Yay. 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 Well, I have to explain what it is for, because only three people are yeah, in the group. Ren Stores Association, uh, Association. Ren Stores Anonymous, excuse me, is a fan group for King and Guys. Hi. Okay. <laughs> a whole bunch of people we get together, you know, we you know talk about stuff. You know, we have a good time, you know. So I'm going to hand over to Caitlin last to sort of explain oh. the origin okay. of the group. And then we'll sort of, <laughs> sort of uh, you know, question, Q&A kind of thing. Okay. So, okay. Caitlin Glass. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> nom. What? <laughs> Here, try this one. Use my technical skills. Look at that. Wonderful. <laughs> You're <work>. awesome. <laughs> I work with these for a living. Mm. Sorry, I'm munching on chocolate. <laughs> Yay, Peter's here with drugs. <laughs> Not for you. Drugs for me. <laughs> Thank you. You are a godsend. This is a subject. Nope, I got this little dude right here. <laughs> I'm awesome. You're you awesome. You okay. Thank you, sir. You too. You take it easy. You are. He's been up as long as we have. Peter, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, round. Peter! Yay! Yay. Um, sorry, I have a blazing headache. Those fluorescent lights. I was about. Here's how tired I am, okay? I was about to undo this water and dump it into my hand <laughs> instead of the pills in this cup <laughs> dumping into my hand, okay? All right. Um, excuse me. Okay, that would be my job to like awesome. make a okay. mistake like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Tylenol. Um, WTA, that's what I'm supposed to do. Talk about the WTA. Uh, so it's a cool little group that it blows my mind that it even exists because I'm just a voice actor, like I'm just a girl. It's very strange to think that I have fans in a group that want to get together and like meet me and talk about stuff that I do. It's kind of mind boggling. Um, the name just simply came from the character Winry in Full Metal Alchemist throws wrenches, and so we thought she kind of has a problem with that. And so someone thought that other people with similar problems should get together in a group called Wrench Throwers Anonymous. So it'd be like, hi, my name is Caitlin, and I'm a wrench thrower. And then everyone would go, hi, Caitlin. <laughs> so anyway, that's how it started, and it's just a little online community. Anybody who, um, a lot of people who are Risible Rangers, which are fans of Vic Mignogna and Full Metal Alchemist, or in any of those other fan groups, are all kind of in everybody's. And so the WTAs were just a nice, sweet little bunch of folk. If you are not in it and would like to be, just to meet other people who like the same stuff as you, go to wrenchmonkeys.net, and that will take you. And that's M-O-N-K-E-Y-S. Not M O N K I E S. That's not how you spell monkeys. Okay. <laughs> so I spelled it that way. Anyway, so that's it. And I guess we've been around two years or so. It's about 400 people. And I try my hardest. It's difficult because I have a pretty busy schedule. But I try my hardest to go in every week or couple of weeks and just tell people what's up with me. What is going on in my little anime world? What shows I'm working on? What am I even allowed to talk about? What cons I'm going to? Um, we have contests every month. We have a monkey of the month, and that's just the person who's the most active in the group for that month, posting whatever they want to post about, pretty much, that is within the rules. There are little guidelines. And if you happen to be that person, you get a free DVD of something that I've worked on, and I sign it for you and mail it off to you. And, uh, yeah, that's us. Do you mind if I ask a question? 
yeah. since I'm relatively new to this, um, how did you get into voice acting? Okay, so now it's a panel. All right. <laughs> well, no, this is my first. Oh, no, it's cool. It's, I was just like, I, you have to understand, I'm really tired. I don't know what's going on. Um, so uh, this panel today is just supposed to be like time for wrench monkeys, which is what we call people in the club, to just ask me whatever in a smaller environment than being in a huge voice actor panel where everyone wants to ask Vic to say their favorite line from Full Metal Alchemist and can I have a hug and please, please do an Ed short rant. So this is like if you just want to ask me something or it doesn't even have to be about voice acting, you'll get to do that. So the question over here was how did I become a voice actor? And, uh, oh, oh. sorry, hang on. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> um, I became a voice actor in 2004. I was almost done with college. I had one semester left, less than one semester. And I went... Oh, there... This is like a, a pretty crummy cord. That's the issue. Uh, Hang on. I have to I hold see, it. I see the problem. Okay. Is that better? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> No, it, it requires me to hold it down here okay. all the time. Uh, <laughs> so I was an anime fan, not like huge or avid. I'd never been to a convention yet. It was just something that I, I needed an escape from the things that I was doing in college. I was a theater major, which took up all of my time. And I did a lot of ministry work at church. And those are great things in and of themselves, but everyone needs a hobby. So um, anime became just my hobby, and I would just watch whatever I could find on TV or rent from Blockbuster. And uh, my friend Nathaniel, who's now the head of engineering at Funimation, knew that I was a fan and the company was local, so he gave me a tour one day. And on the tour, I met a director, and when he heard I was a theater student, gave me an audition on the spot, and four days later, I was working at Funimation. I haven't left. <laughs> so that's how I became a voice actor. That is not how everyone becomes a voice actor. If you're interested in becoming one, I don't recommend trying to get a tour <laughs> and being like, Caitlin got a job here on a tour, give me a job too. I don't, I don't think that it'll work that way. <laughs> so um, that's how I got the job, I guess. But uh, I don't think I could have maintained the job or, or even landed the, uh, nailed the audition or whatever I did because honestly I said one line I said ugly creep how about I mace you I don't know if it's like this kind of mace or that kind of mace but one of those things that was the line and when I came out I had a job very strange but um, I said this in the panel I did earlier today and I apologize if you were there but you can have somebody in, in the entertainment industry it often is who you know most of the time. So you can know somebody who can help you get your foot in the door, but if you don't have the experience, um, the determination, the confidence, um, the talent, and the skills, if you haven't worked on those things, you're not going to stay in the door very long. Um, so, and I owe that to all of my theater professors and everyone who ever taught me anything about acting, uh, how to behave professionally when really on the inside, I'm probably like you guys at, at a convention when you you know, fangirl or fanboy out about something that you love. I was doing that at Funimation. When I walked in and it was Eric Vale and he started talking and I'm like, oh my god, it's Trunks. You know, like I knew his voice from Dragon Ball Z and I'm like, <laughs> but I had to keep it together and act like this was no big deal. They just uh, get in the box and you know, read a line. Oh, okay. When on the inside, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So um, that's how I got uh, my, my gig at Funimation. Yay, nice story. <laughs> Oh, okay. Num, 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 num. Num, num. There you go. Num, num, num. Num, num, num. You know, my, my mom is actually a really huge fan of yours. Of mine? Hi, Mom. Yeah, her name is Camille. Hi, Camille. Speaking of Mom, let's call my mother. <laughs> let's do That's it. right, because unfortunately Miss Helen could not be here. Yes, my mom. Uh, if you join or if you're in the club, uh, my mom does a lot of the moderating and not in a weird stage mom, control freak kind of way. She just gets into it. That is her personality. She adopts extra children all the time. That's just how she is. So That's exactly how my mom is. Yeah, she's a really awesome lady. I love my mother. And uh, I live in Texas, though, and she lives in San Diego, and I haven't seen her since Thanksgiving. Go so Kelly! She, so she was going to come uh, here to SoccerCon, but then uh, someone at her job had to quit. 
So she had to stay 